Hello, and welcome to another entry in the Indiana University Radiology Residency video series. This video has been developed to help provide instructions on performing a fluoroscopic guided esophageal leak study. No actual patients were used in the creation of this instructional video. All persons participating in the video were unpaid volunteers. No financial disclosures. Esophageal perforations or leaks can be potentially devastating injuries, so early diagnosis is essential. Some indications for an esophageal leak study include esophageal or oropharyngeal resection, trauma, typically penetrating, foreign body or caustic ingestion, and iatrogenic causes. The following slide has a list of radiographic findings, which can be browsed at the viewer's leisure. Now we will go through the steps that should be performed in an esophageal leak study. Step 1. Obtain single exposure scout images of the esophagus in the standing AP and lateral positions. This is a key step as it will help you identify false positives during interpretation. The patient is in the AP position on the left and the lateral position on the right. The radiology technician will typically perform this step. Place the patient in the AP position. Have the patient hold a single swallow of gastrographin in their mouth. Then have the patient swallow while taking three frames per second exposures of the cervical esophagus while following the contrast bolus caudally. Also, keep in mind that gastrographin should not be used if there is concern for aspiration. In those cases, use a non-ionic contrast such as isoview instead. Here you can see the resident following the contrast bolus with the fluoroscopy image intensifier with the patient in the AP position. In the next step, repeat step two after switching the patient to either the lateral or left posterior oblique position. If you have already witnessed a leak, make sure to document the location to compare on other views. Here's an example of the patient in the left posterior oblique position. Here you can see the resident following the contrast bolus with the fluoroscopy image intensifier with the patient in the left posterior oblique position. Okay. If no leak is seen, switch from gastrographin to thin barium and repeat steps two and three. Barium has a much higher sensitivity than gastrographin for detecting subtle leaks. Next, look with fluoroscopy, meaning no actual exposures to verify gastric emptying. For a quick review of the steps, first, obtain lateral and AP scout images. Second, do an AP run of the esophagus at three frames per second with gastrographin, substituting isoview if the patient is felt to be an aspiration risk. Third, do an LPO run of the esophagus at three frames per second with gastrographin or isoview as above. Fourth, repeat AP and LPO runs at three frames per second with thin barium if no leak has been identified. And fifth, Verify gastric emptying using fluoroscopy. There are multiple locations and types of esophageal perforations and leaks. The following slide has a list of these leaks, which can be browsed at the viewer's leisure. Here's a nice example of a positive esophageal leak study. As you can see, there is extravasation of contrast from the esophageal lumen to the left of the gastroesophageal junction, a very common location.